Have you ever driven down the road and wondered what's in that field? Or why is that structure there? Who was the person that built that house? Well, I constantly find myself in that kind of mindset. And I'm lucky to live in the beautiful state of Virginia where the history abounds and there's no shortages of place to look. This is a story of one of those fields I have driven by for so long and wondered what is in that field. Oh, it's deep. That's surprising. It sounds so good. Is that? No. It sounds like a coin. That'd be pretty cool if it was. For a first target, on a day I should be doing everything else. Where's that? It's over here. It says it's in here. Aluminium. To be expected, we're close to the road. All right, I thought to myself, holy smokes, that's a loud signal. It's a 95 on the dais and it's right there. Now, what is it? Looks like a big button. What kind of button is that? It's definitely a button or a coin or something. It's a button? Oh, it's a, um, I think it's an eagle on an anchor. The question is, what age is that? We'll have to clean it up. I think it was super, super loud. And it was squashed, maybe World War II? I don't, won't know until we get on the back, so that's awesome. I'm not really sure what this was. It was together and then it fell apart. So we'll have to clean that up. Definitely interesting. Kind of looks like a ring, but I'm not real sure. Uh, it was a real scratchy tone, kind of, kind of if iffy. Look at my brand new Plano box I just got off the bottom of the river from last year. That's a big piece of iron right there. Looks like a horseshoe, but I'm not sure what it is. It's like an ore lock, honestly. Uh, that'll get me sometimes. That's okay. Well, hey, how about that piece of lead? It's all right. I lost a bunch of time because the homeowner stopped by. Oh, you know what that is? I think that's a piece of lead that held a flint to a musket tail. It's folded over. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Could be wrong. We'll check it out. Um, but the homeowner stopped by and talked to me, which is cool. I always appreciate that. And then somebody from the street stopped by and asked me questions about metal detecting and tell me about their metal detecting experiences, which was cool. And then, uh, yeah, so now we're back to digging targets. That was a good one. Let's see if we can get that out of there. That's pretty deep. That sounded pretty good too. Oh, I kind of want the tip of my finger. I wonder what it is. Feels like it's iron. That's my guess. There's a lot of horse things around here that sound good because they're round. What do we got here? That's no exception. And that's exactly why that sounds good. That's the end of what's called a, oh, what's that, a wiffle tree? That's what they use to connect the bar, the crossbar to the plow. So that's just gonna sound good and uh, you should be digging those. Aluminium. Oh, I was right beside that piece of iron. All right, I'm calling this one. That sounds silver, Smell sounds small, it sounds very, very crisp, very tight to a small area. So, we're calling that a silver, rings up an 86, the D2 on my custom medium program. And 
and she is out. Where's she at? Oh, what's that? Not a piece of silver at all. Big piece of sheeting or brass, copper. That stinks. That thing was, man, it was good. Well, how about that? That was unexpected, and that was right beside that big piece of brass. That is a knapsack triangle, or knapsack hook. And it's not the typical manufacturer that I'm used to seeing uh, with this hook like that. So it could be Confederate. Uh, that is really, really cool. I love it. Man, it's been pulled apart. Maybe there's more. Interesting. It's brass and iron mixed together. Huh. Looks like a finial. I wouldn't be surprised if that's a Confederate finial right there. I'll have to do some research on that. There it is, green right there on the sidewall. That's a button. That is a button. There we go. There we go, it's deep. Oh, that's a beautiful eagle eye. Wow. How's the back look? Doesn't look like there's a, uh, a shank there, but let's go. That's awesome. That thing was a whisper of a signal. Uh -oh. There it is right there. It's on the side. It looks like another hook. What is it? That's another hook. Yes, sir. Look at that. That's a sling adjuster. Oh man, we are in a hot spot of brass. That is awesome. We are on it. Now we need the cartridge box. And we need, we need a buckle that goes with it. Man, maybe there's a shot. Let's go. That's awesome. All right, for some people who may or may not know, I dig a lot because of my job. Um, kind of a mental health thing for me. My fire department job is pretty stressful. What is that? What is that? What is that? I know exactly what that is. Look at that, that's the top of a canteen. Oh no, it's a silver thimble. Look at that. It looked like a canteen top at first. We are square in the middle of a awesome little camp. Um, I dug that adjuster there, um, stud there, um, that piece to probably a cat box finial, and now a symbol, silver thimble. And uh, this is great. This is the second, second thimble from this place, but the first silver one. So let's go. That's so awesome. I thought for sure that was going to be a canteen spout too. Um, but what I'm saying is... I dig a lot and I don't always make videos and I've been pretty struggling with video creation in the last year especially when it comes to stuff in the ground I focused so much time last year on uh, the show and the year before that um, with Beyond Oak Island that oh my gosh there's another one right there what is that that's right there let's dig that together Maybe we'll just live dig after live dig. Um, that I didn't focus on digging a lot of stuff in the ground. And uh, I typically use these days for a lot of my own mental health days because so many people know where I am and know who I am locally. I don't want to risk ruining spots. I don't want to have to worry about it. Oh, there's green right there. What is that? What is that? Oh, that's a picture frame. That is a picture frame. Oh man, that's so cool. 
what's left of picture frame that would have been like a tin type would have been a soldier's uh, soldier's loved one would have been in there that's super super neat I'm not gonna do anything else with it because I don't want to bend it and break it to at all but that's what's left of a picture frame Wow well, I'm gonna stay on until we dig trash how about that you like this kind of stuff you just let me know down low that this is what you want to see um, these kind of sites just don't come around very often and uh, cool part is hey that's what I'm talking about people know me the cool part is, is because they don't come around often They're so much more special when you do get to dig them. But yeah, this is mental health for me. Come on, give me a squeaker in here. Oh, oh that's a piece of iron. I probably will come back and dig that. Small 53 right there. I mean that's got the little high click it's deep I'm running my I am running my medium deep program out here just because um, I think it's got a little better separation for my personal ears um, so not in there oh it's in here let's see Definitely right there. Wouldn't have hit that with a pinpointer. Where did, I, did I move it? No way I moved it. I did move it. And that is. A piece of a lead that's the rim of a plate it looks like no way yeah that's definitely the rim of a buckle or an eagle breastplate maybe the pr plates around here somewhere it's lead backed with brass on the front come on let's get a buckle out of here all right now I'm gonna cut you off that is just cool Look at that impression where that triangle is laying there. Completely a knapsack. Right here. That's worth taking a photo of before it goes in my pouch. Now, after digging all that brass in a row, you say, why would you dig this? Well, the reason that I dig this is to get it out of the way of all the other good stuff that's in here. A big piece of iron like this, which looks like a pot handle, uh, definitely would mask a good brass target. So maybe not today or tomorrow, but maybe the next time I come here. So. That's why you gotta dig this stuff and get it out of the way. Oh, what is that? Ah, oh, I get you every time. I'm digging a lot of brass, which is interesting. Um, you'd think that there'd be some more bullets in here. Um, in fact, I haven't found any today. And only one on the place since I've been here. So, I have a feeling, a small hunch, this place is not undug. It has been metal detected before and the bullets were just easy along with the belt buckles and that's typically the case with all of the really old places that i hunt somebody's gotten here before me i think i only have one one exception in my metal detecting career that i have ever been the first person to metal detect a place um, and that was amazing so we'll see 87 on the deep program. Ninety. Eighty-seven. Ninety. Let's see if it pinpoints. No. No, it doesn't. Why doesn't it? Okay. 
double check it. The reason it may not pinpoint is because it's deep. And that would be cool if that was the case. Sounds pretty good still. Could be iron. Could be a cannonball. Could be junk. Could be that. What is that? That's terrible. It's a little cap. Oh my gosh, it was so deep and it sounded so good. Oh. Pretty sure that's a taco button of some some sort. Probably an eagle button would be my guess. Yeah, I see a wing there. I see something there. Oh no, it definitely looks taco though. There you go. So that's probably a taco button of some sort. I'm not real sure what it is. If it's plow struck, it was intentionally done that way. Soldiers did crazy stuff. But it definitely looks like a button. It says we're out. I don't have a ton of hope for this signal. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a flat button. No. I don't have to tons of. Oh, it's a wee penny. It's really high, really loud. Uh, we're gonna have to cut this short, maybe. 1920. Nice. That's a really loud button. A little design on it. That's cool. No, that's not a button. That's the top of a J hook. That's exactly what that is. See where they'd uh, attach to it. See if we can find the J hook now. Uh, not the top of the J hook. Top of shotgun cap. Oh, what's that? Piece of fancy brass. Or fancy melted brass, I'm not sure. Looks like it's purposely shaped like that. Interesting. That's well, broken, whatever it was. All right, that was a good high tone. This may be the end of the session, I don't know. Well, here's the end of the day. Um, we got what we think is the edge of an eagle plate. Um, lead filled, we'll have to clean it up and make sure. Um, knapsack parts, hooks, suspender clips, a uh, nice eagle eye, rolled button, some miscellaneous brass, and this is uh, half of a picture frame. So that's pretty cool for a few hours. Pretty decent day, and we'll have to clean that silver thumble up too. So, we hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a lot of fun to make. We'll see you here on God Digging. We gotta clean this mess up.